Alastair, if Jamie Dimon is suggesting $10,000 US gold in the short term, and many analysts are forecasting $5,000 by the end of 2026, and the US bank uh, Morgan Stanley, of course, is suggesting a portfolio holding of 20% in gold, why is the World Bank suggesting a massive slowdown in the price of gold? Well, I think, I think uh, you know, the Keynesians would reckon that the slowdown basically means that interest rates go down and prices go down because of um, lack of demand and all the rest of it. But that's completely wrong. I mean, basically, what you find is that in a, um, you know, in, in, in a slowdown or a slump, um, it's both uh, production and demand that decline. So while there is some variation in price effects, I mean, broadly speaking, the idea that a slump leads to falling prices is not quite correct. What really matters is what happens to the purchasing power of the currency. Now, in the old days, when uh, we were on gold standards, um, that would have one effect. And what you would find is that, yes, perhaps prices would fall. But when you're uh, on a fiat currency standard, of course, it's very different. What happens is that the fiat currency declines in its purchasing power, which means that prices on the streets basically rise. That's the problem. 